My name is Hoing, I'm a consultant psychiatrist, editor of Global Psychiatry Archives, and this is for YouTube, our channel to show mental health problems explained. So this today is lithium explained, and lithium is a mood stabilizer used in bipolar disorder, sometimes in depression as well. And uh, it's usually a prophylactic treatment for bipolar affective disorder, which is about having manic and depressive episodes and lithium can help and reduce the number of episodes and the severity of episodes. There are quite a few um, double-blind studies, so there's some evidence on that. Um, the weird thing is that nobody really knows how it works. It has quite a lit lot of uh, effects, uh, especially when the concentration is a bit higher. It can substitute other um, other electrolytes, which are sodium and potassium, calcium, magnesium, and uh, it might then in this way affect the uh, nerve conduction. Um, some, some people say that the neurotransmitters and second messengers, uh, which are adenylylcyclase or inositol, triphosphate, or other uh, neurotransmitters and second messengers, which provide information or transfer information within the body are affected. Um, so some people say it might also block the effect of neurotransmitters and hormones or may reduce the re um, re receptor upregulation. The weird thing is that we very often don't know whether this, this is what's observed in the lab is a side effect or whether it's a main effect, so say, so like uh, you see in antidepressants that the serotonin is increased, so has it something to do with the effect of the antidepressant or has it something to do um, with the side effects? So the same thing is with lithium, so the effects of um, interacting or affecting the neurotransmitters, is this a side effect which has nothing to do with the main effect or is it just uh, one of the core um, uh, core mechanisms by which depression or mood stabilization is um, caused. Right, um, there are lots of interactions with medications which um, angiotensin converting enzymes which are used uh, in high blood pressure, analgesics and antidepressants, especially SSRIs, anti-epileptics, anti-hypertensive, antipsychotics, so there are lots of interactions, and again, you don't know whether this is relevant or is part of the uh, function of the lithium. Right, um, so usually when people have lots of antiacids and theophylline, they, their blood levels might, might go down. Um, Anti-diabetics might, in, uh, might impair glucose tolerance, or the lithium does, does that. There's a risk of hypothyroidism, and for that reason, the thyroid function has to be uh, checked. So what you need, to do, if you want to start lithium therapy, you have to have a physical health check, uh, which includes a full blood count, um, urea and electrolytes, um, thyroid function, renal function, weight, height, and uh, ECG, and uh, you shouldn't be pregnant when starting such, such medication especially because nobody knows what's going to happen. Right, you usually start as usual a bit low, um, so maybe you get 400, 500 or 600 milligrams of lithium in different formats depending on uh, the um, formulation. So some, uh, let's say carbonate is more, so lithium carbonate is more available in the system than uh, lithium citrate. So usually you start low, um, take it on for a week, then you monitor the medication and then check maybe after a week or five days, whatever. And, and you usually check the blood lab samples 12 hours after the post-dose. Usually most drugs have um, in a specific wave function where it, how it goes in and how it goes out of the system. And depending on where are you or which time you're in the wave, then you might get different results. So it's quite good to have a specific time and to wait sufficiently long. 
Right, so you have to check the lithium levels. This can be done initially with a psychiatrist, but later with a GP, let's say every three, three months. And uh, check the um, thyroid function every six months, check the weight and check for side effects. Um, coming back to side effects maybe in a different way. So there are lots of um, guidelines saying you should monitor, um, we should check the bloods, we should, uh, we should give patients sufficient uh, information. So this is what we're trying to do. Lithium is a drug which has side effects because if the levels are too high, then you can have quite nasty side effects and especially which affect the liver and which also can affect um, the vision. So there are different types of lithium. We have lithium carbonate, citrate, and uh, these are different companies, Priadel or uh, Lisconium, Camcolit. So these are different types of um, medications which can be tried. And uh, usually if it works, then it's a good effect, but uh, usually sometimes you can have nasty side effects in the elderly. Right, we leave it for this today and uh, I will continue this series and if there's anybody who wants to know something specific, just let me know. Okay, thanks for your interest and uh, your thanks and I'll come back tomorrow.